go. We got 15 seconds left. We're gonna go on eight. Gives us time for a rebound or a tip in. Brandon, 20's gonna pick you up full court, all right? Freeze, you're gonna come up, set a ball screen for Brandon. Brandon, you roll around to the right. Garcia, come up, set a back screen for Kenny. Kenny, come out to the wing for the three. That way we got three options. Brandon attacking right. We'll look for Freeze coming off the screen. If neither of those are there, go to Kenny for the three in the corner. You got this, okay? No, don't just nod. I want to hear your voice. Yes or no? Yes, coach. No crazy stunts, no Batman costume. This is a different Ben Affleck than we're used to seeing. In his new movie, The Way Back, he plays an alcoholic who finds redemption in coaching basketball. But what about Ben's own comeback? I sat down with the cast and crew to learn why this role was so important for Ben, and that's in today's Chatting with the Stars. As an athlete, I gotta say, this is a movie about life, not a movie about sports. Yes. I heard you're coaching basketball. Yeah, keeps me busy, keeps my mind off other things, you know. I'm gonna start off with you, Ben. Yeah. Goodwill Hunting, you played a version of your real self. Right. 30 years later, you picked this role because of Jack's struggles. How important was this role to you? The role was really important to me. I had done a lot of uh, bigger budget, action, effects driven stuff, and there's not a lot of emotional satisfaction, and, and I wanted to get back to that. And this story was just full of those opportunities. Keep pressing, traffic, taking charges, make our lack of size an advantage. Go, 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 go. Coach's relationship with the players, what he gets out of them, his recovery from alcoholism. But probably the most important thing to me about it was that it, it was a story of inspiration, of hope. Look, we're not gonna make it all back in one possession. You gotta just keep chipping away and chipping away. If you work hard enough and you go after hard enough, you know, you can win. You can overcome some of this stuff. That's not that, you know, the, the, the trouble is not the end. Gavin, you worked with Ben four years ago on The Accountant. He's been open about his struggles. How different was it working with him? It was so different. In The Accountant, he was playing a character that was on the spectrum, who was, you know, an assassin, who had a, this brilliant mathematical mind. Ben is none of those things. <laughs> you know, this movie, we were dealing with a lot of issues in his own life. I spent a lot of time hurting myself. For the movie to succeed, uh, you know, and Ben and I had these conversations, he had to be willing to not only confront his disease, but he had to be willing to sort of, like in an x-ray machine for an audience, he had to be able to open up his insides and let the audience in. In, 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 so it was like life imitating art and art was imitating life. And that took a lot of bravery. Yeah, you guys working with the Tom Brady of, uh, of <laughs> film. You know, he, so what did you guys learn from him? Because you know he was going to bring his A game on set. You want to know why they're leaving you open? It's because they don't think you could hit the ocean from the beach. <laughs> it was a great opportunity to work with, you know, one of the veterans and, you know, in his game and one of the best to have done it. Of him still being such a humble and, and, and great guy and how he showed up and showed out. It was about the love of doing it, you know. Um, I, I've been doing it a while, and, you know, you go down these rabbit holes, you get distracted. There's tablets, there's the internet. You can get caught up in, well, what do people think of me? Or what's my... Yeah, and these guys just showed up and loved what they did. That's the feeling I want to have every day when I come to work, is how these guys are approaching this job. That's how it should be done. I told Ben this isn't, isn't just a movie about sports, it's about life. So the Way Back hits movie theaters March 6th. 